Okay, so in this video I thought I'd take a quick look at a book I picked up recently and this one's called 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die and like the title suggests, it's a list of 1001 video games you should try before you die and I got this off Amazon for 9 99 delivered so I think it was a really good deal it's a nice heavy book, it's got about a thousand pages in it but I'll, I'll open it up and give you a quick idea of what it's all about so I'll just read the first wee part here So. 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die is a comprehensive guide to the greatest video games ever made. From old classics to new favourites, here are the games that met with popular and critical acclaim, the obscure gems, and the games that changed the history of the medium. So, I mean, it's got all the games from PC to uh, the arcade games and like the home console games as well. So just open up here, and it's got some nice artwork in it as well. So you've, you've got I can picture a joystick there. It's got some really good screenshots, which I'll show you in a minute. But you've got your contents here and the preface, your introduction, just kind of give you a brief idea of who wrote the book and what the book's about. It's just standard with any book, I suppose. But the really nice thing with this is it gives you a the index of all the games by title. So, as you can see there. It lists all the games in the book, so that's really handy to have if there's a game you've been thinking about playing, or there's a game that you've you kind of just heard of, and you might want to like look it up in here and just see, get a kind of quick idea of what the game's about, and get some details on it. So, as you can see, the the book's split into different decades. So, you're starting off here with the the seventies, and it gives you a kind of quick overview of what consoles were available in that decade and what kind of games were, were popular and what was, what was kind of coming out and what was kind of new. So you've obviously got your your likes of your, your games like Pong and uh, it gives you some details on the games as well. So you've got the original release date, the platform and the developer and the genre. So it tells you about Pong there and obviously you've just got the, the regular kind of games you had in the 70s the kind of classics like Breakout, uh, Boot Hill, Space Invaders, that kind of thing. So move on here, you've got the, the 80s. So there's some nice colourful artwork in it. You've got Donkey Kong there. And again it gives you a bit of a, a kind of description of what kind of consoles were around at that time. And you can just flick through, you've got games like Missile Command and the games will either be split into two per page or one per page here and then the more popular games some of them will have like a full a full page just for, as a screenshot and then the other page will be like a, a description about the game but most of the games you've either got two or one per page so you've like there's a Pac-Man there's got a, a full page to itself basically but some really nice artwork in the game and Donkey Kong as well Games like Cubert, Moon Patrol. That's games from the 80s there, so we can move on. We've got games from the 90s. So Sonic the Hedgehog. And I mean it's got some of my favourite games, obviously Sonic the Hedgehog there. But the really cool thing is just flicking through the book and you'll find games that you've you've heard of before and probably played, and then you'll also find games that you've never heard of. So there's a game there, Mist. I've never heard of that. But it tells you when it was released and what kind of game it was. So it's just really cool just to flick through the book and you'll find games that you've, you've never really heard of before. So moving on here, I think we'll go to the 2000s. And the majority of this book is probably made up of games from that decade. So it's more kind of modern games that's in here. But... Yeah, so you've got Marvel vs. Capcom. I just really like the, the artwork you get with it. So you've, you've got maybe just a few screenshots of the game. So, like the Jet Set Radio there. Released for the Dreamcast. One of my favourite games. And you've got other games as well. So you've got games for the likes of the, the 360, the Gears of War, and Black. Gonna flick through the you could like Wii Sports as well. So games you probably heard of, 
you've definitely heard of like Halo 3, but yeah, Colin McRae, Heavenly Sword, I'm actually playing that right now. Is that Unreal Tournament? And the book was released in 2010, so it's even got a section dedicated to 2010, or 2010s as we're calling it. But obviously, there's not really that much on that decade yet. So we'll have a look here, you've got, I think it's Bioshock and Mass Effect, are the ones I'd marked out there. I don't think there's really that many. No. There's only a few for 2010, but it does reference the likes of um, Microsoft's Kinect there. And some bit of artwork as well. So, yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick video on the book. It's I'm really, really enjoying looking through it. I just like the fact that I can pick it up, open it a page, and then there'll be a game that I've maybe never heard of, and I can then go and uh, check it out and see if I like it. But yeah, got it from Amazon. Um, it was nine ninety nine delivered for me here uh, in the UK. But that's it. It's really heavy, a really thick book. I'll give you an idea. That's a PlayStation Three game. It's a wee bit bigger than that. But it's really, really thick, so you can see there. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again soon.